Hello guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be showing you, as the title says, how to chart songs, and you might already know how to chart songs, and I believe in Saturday Night Swaggin, you can also just use pastebin links if you're just lazy, and the game that I'm in right now is Mic Drop, and I used to actually chart songs in here, but the editor in here is so scuffed, and that is why I have switched to Saturday Night Swaggin. As not only is it less laggy, the editor is much more smooth. And I think this guy's trying to 1v1 me. I'm not sure what they're trying to do. But I'm like in the middle of a recording a video right now. But anyways, now that we're in Saturday Night Swaggin, we're going to open the editor, and then obviously I'm going to just click on select, so that way I don't accidentally click on notes, since I am on mobile. And then what we're going to do is actually, you know, find the song that we actually want to chart. And then you're going to find that BPM, and I'll show you how to do both of those things. Okay, so what you want to do is that you actually just want to open, like, go into the Roblox homepage, then you're going to scroll down. Go on to help, go and type into the library, and then click onto the library tab. Well, there are multiple ways to access the library, but all you need to do is just go to the library, click onto audio, look up the song that you want, find it, and then you're going to copy in these numbers only, not the whole thing, just the numbers. And the next thing that you want to do is find the VPN. Now, since I am on mobile, there is this website called tunebap.com, and all you have to do is, is just select a file. Now, for what I do, I go onto YouTube, and you just wanna look up the video that you wanna do, which my in my case is Contravance. You want to record as the whole thing. You wanna stay as close as possible to the length of the video, as for my case is 1 minute 36 seconds, but it is okay if you're like 2 or 3 seconds off, even 4 seconds off, it's fine. And so what all you gotta do now is just go on to select files, and then go onto your photo library and then select it, and then it, it will show you the BPM, I believe it will also show you the alt key and the key that it is on, and then I believe there's like other 3 locked options like happiness and stuff, but like those are irrelevant. All you need is that BPM. Also, in some cases, your song might also be able to be trapped, such as, you know, Contravance, which is by Jennifer, who is the artist, and it will actually be shown, which for my case, I got 75 BPM, which is just half of 150, so it's still okay. But it won't always work in your favor, as for the song that I had to do, Distortion, there are many songs many many songs by many artists and if you just keep on scrolling down you won't find the person that made it because it hasn't been discovered but now that you have the necessary information you can just paste down your id that you have pasted or copied and then you're going to go into the vpn put in what you have it can also just be 150 for my case as well, but it doesn't really matter. You, and then you have your stuff, and then you want to start setting it up. And then you also want to, um, you also want to know what specifically are you charting. Such as in songs, such as, you know, Revived by Derivacat. What are you going to be charting? Are you going to be charting the instrumentals? Or, like, are you going to be charting the instruments that are playing in the background? Or are you going to be charting the vocals or you could just chart both or you could just chart one side being the vocals and then the other side being instrumental or they just switch back and forth like what I did in my blood in the water video and for my case I actually did finish my contrabance charting and it is a very complex because for my case as you can listen it has the vocals but it also has these random blasts out of nowhere. While in distortion, it's very um, consistent. 
as there isn't really any blast of anything. It's just the vocals. And so that's what made charting this very easier. Even though it's a longer song than Contravince, it made it easier to chart this song than Contravince because it's less complex. And then, of course, you can't always chart the blasts with the vocals because then it won't work out. The notes will start stacking on top of each other and then it won't be playable. So that's why you have to decide what are you going to do. Such as, um, what, in this jack part right here, I gotta make it, like, here, there we go. This is the jack part. There are random blasts in this song. As you can see, there are four notes, which are meant to represent the blasts, and then just the three notes, which are just supposed to be the vocals. There is also another complex part in this song, which is, I believe, the hold notes part. So what I decided to do is to not only chart, like, the dan, 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 I would also chart the, the very low-sounding vocals from this song and what I mean by vocals I don't mean by like voice it's basically the sound that is high pitched kind of you can also kind of basically if you ever listen to Camellia song in F and F you'll hear that boyfriend has the vocals of that song while in the Camellia side it's just the instruments it doesn't play both the vocals Although sometimes the instruments also do line up with the vocals sometimes, but not always. Such as, you know, in Ghoul, um, Ghost Halloween VIP. It's all the same thing. And then you just want to just, just decide what you want to chart. Another thing that also helps me is knowing, okay, well, this is going to be a double note. What sound will be enough for a double note? What did I just say? I said double note. I meant double note. And then you just want to know what sound will be enough for a, tr a triple note. Because it's very high pitch, but then if you go on to this part, it's not as powerful. And then you just want to keep on doing that. You can always change the beat snap. You can always zoom in as always. You can even slow down the song to even get more accurate, which is what I did. This took a total, I don't even know, probably 10-ish, 8-ish hours again. It, it just really depends. I don't really check the time. It's mostly just what I feel like. But it also could just be exaggerated or underestimated. But yeah, that's just how I chart songs. I hope this helped you in some way. I'm sorry if this video was very, very scuffed. I'm not really good at explaining things. And, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll also be showing the full chart of my song in, in this video. And stay tuned. Wait a second. This isn't supposed to be here. How did I not notice that? Alright, there we go.
Adios.